Hey there, welcome to the channel. Are you guys familiar with this? Good Seasons Italian dressing mix? It's usually in all the grocery stores in some form or variety, whether it be the name brand or a private label. You find it at the top shelf usually of the salad dressing aisle, so it's above all the bottled pre-made stuff. The problem with this is that most of their varieties contain gluten in the form of dried soy sauce. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own version at home with stuff you probably already have in the spice cabinet. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So please consider hitting subscribe and let's make some Italian dressing mix. Here are our ingredients for the Italian dressing mix. I've got two teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano, three-fourths of a teaspoon of dried parsley, three-fourths of a teaspoon of garlic powder, three-fourths of a teaspoon of onion powder, three-fourths of a teaspoon of white sugar, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, a fourth of a teaspoon of dried basil, a fourth of a teaspoon of celery seed, and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Now I'm gonna take all these ingredients and mix them up in a small bowl. And while I do that, I'll tell you how to make it into dressing. To make the Italian salad dressing, whisk together two thirds cup canola or vegetable oil, a fourth of a cup white vinegar, two tablespoons water, and the Italian dressing mix. Chill for 30 to 60 minutes for the flavors to blend. So here we have our Italian dressing mix all blended up. That's how easy it is to make your own homemade version of the box stuff. For mixing the dressing, if I'm using it as dressing, I like to just use one of these bottles. It has a stopper on it on the top, as well as a spout to pour it. It has measurements on the side, so you can mix it right in here. That's something I use when I'm making homemade dressing so I can just store it in the fridge until it's gone. I'm hoping in the next couple videos to show you some things to do with this dressing mix besides dressing. So stay tuned for those videos. Please consider subscribing if you wanna get notified when those videos come out. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.